Could synthetic bacteria help prevent or cure respiratory diseases like COVID-19? For many years, European researchers here at the Center for Genomic Regulation in Barcelona have been working on synthetic vaccines that might eventually be used to tackle the coronavirus. Let's see how. Researchers here are studying a genus of bacteria called mycoplasma. The goal is to develop smart vaccines for respiratory diseases, both in farm animals and humans. The cutting-edge technology is being used to grow synthetic bacteria. Those involved in this European research project say the same science could eventually be used to develop a COVID-19 vaccine using coronavirus proteins as antigens. One strategy is to use the proteins of those viruses as vaccines by training our immune system to produce antibodies. This is what we call recombinant vaccines. So when the virus appears, the immune system is able to block the virus and eliminate it. But the challenge is huge. It's a long and costly process. And sometimes you're not just dealing with one protein from the virus, but with many different ones. The synthetic, non-pathogenic bacteria grown here are designed to trigger an immune response in farm animals. But once the organisms understood, the universal language of DNA means it's possible to find other biological applications. We've been able to activate antibodies. We've been able to activate molecules that stimulate the immune system. We can also activate enzymes. We kill other bacteria. We can even kill bacteria that infect human lungs. Now the goal is to be able to activate proteins from the coronavirus on those same bacteria. Those proteins could eventually bind to the human lung cells and block the virus from entering. In order that the bacteria becomes an ally that can support the immune system, scientists must first disguise it. This is done by modifying the bacteria's genome. To do that, experts in Bordeaux have switched to yeast. Because in Mycoplasma pneumoniae, we don't have a lot of tools to produce that modified genome. What we do is that we give it to a yeast. Inside the yeast, we have a lot of good tools that allow us to modify this genome. So using the yeast, we are able to remove these bad genes and we are able to insert the one we want to keep. So basically the yeast is going to build for us, using our guidance, a new genome that we call the synthetic genomes that basically only has the good parts that we want for our vaccine. In terms of COVID-19, scientists are optimistic that this field of synthetic biology could eventually produce meaningful results within 18 months. COVID-19 is here to stay. It's not going to disappear. It will be like the seasonal flu. We'll need to get vaccines every year. We'll need to have the tools to fight the infection if you get it. And our approach can provide some of those tools.